Match Report series. This week we're going to be building on the last week uh, where we created our setup page with our team selections and match selectors. Uh, this week we're going to be building the start of our report page and we're going to be putting a few uh, extra little stats from today's game. As always, before we get going, uh, if you like this video and or you've liked other videos, please hit like below and subscribe for future content. Alright, so this week what we're going to do is we're going to create a few horizontal bar charts down the left hand side here. Those bar charts, we're going to have uh, sort of passes in the final third that are completed, XG, things like that. And then we're also going to have a measure so that we can change color of the bar depending on the team that's home or away. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to create a column so that we can sort uh, our bars by home and away as well so we can order them a little bit easier using the hierarchy. Alright so let's get going. First of all we're going to, we've already got our blank uh, chart here on the canvas and we're going to need to create uh, a measure for this to be able to put passes in the final third, so let's do that. We're going to open Tabular Editor. Give us a moment. I've already created a few of these measures, but I'm going to create a new one here, which is I'm going to call it passes total. And so here we're just going to create a very similar like we have done in the past with a few variables. Uh, for this one we're going to filter our data set. Things are like those. And we need to all. We're going to pull all the events table in. And then we need to filter to find our match. So let's find match ID here along the side. We'll copy that. Then and then add. we need to find a team name. So both men team name. And then we need our type name to equal passes that we defined earlier. And then we need to find our pass outcome name. With this one, because it's all indexed, our outcome is going to be NA for successful passes. And then lastly, we just want these to be in our final third. So let's find our location value. And we want this to be greater than or equal to 90. Then what we can do is we can create a bar for pass count. Equals count AX DF. Mm, let's just count our type dot name column. And then all we're going to do is return pass count. Alright. So just format our backs there and then hit save. We'll head back into our Tabular Desktop. And we now have our measure here, so let's add that to our visualization here. So we're just going to add that to values. We also need to have teams, so let's do that. And there we go. So now we're split by teams, and we can see exactly what our values are. customize a few things to make sure it all shows up properly. One thing we're going to do is just change the size of our bars slightly. And then we'll just check that's all okay. And we'll turn off our y-axis because we don't need that. We can turn off the title too. And then with our x-axis we can set our, our uh, minimum and maximum values. And then we can also get rid of the title. 
and get rid of any grid lines. And then we can turn that off. Next thing we want to do is add some dot labels. Let's make these black. And then let's position these inside the center of the bar and make them a bit bigger. Oh. What you'll see is this here. This is just saying that it's going to reduce the size of the text as it's a responsive visual. We can turn that off. So then we can make this text bigger than what it was limited to before. Now we can truly see it. There we go. Easy. The last thing to do is just change our title. So it passes. Now we're stuck and we don't actually know what team is which. So for that what we can do is we can create a measure to color our bar. So let's go back to tabular editor. And we'll close this, whoops, close our arrays table. And we'll do that in themes. So measure. I'm just gonna call this theme color. So for this one, what we're going to do is we need a few variables here. And so this one we're going to call, we'll find that theme name. And then we're going to create a data set here. We're going to use min and max. And what we're going to do is filter our match table. All we need to do is find uh, the home team name equals team. Right. And then what we want to do is return the home team name as our value either way. And lastly, we're going to return it as equals theme. We're going to go back to our theme table. Uh, df equals theme. We're going to give the home color. If not, we'll give the away color code. There we go. So let's just format our DAX. And then again, let's hit save. have an error. So let's check what this is. We forgot to add these as well. Go and we can customize again. We're going to click star colors. Use the custom formatting. So that's the window group here, and we're going to use a field value here. And for this, we're just going to choose theme color. So themes table. Oh, there we go. Okay. So then we have the away color for West Ham and the home color for Arsenal. So the last thing we were going to do is we were going to create a home and away table uh, column, I should say. So let's create that within our events table. So what we're going to do is just go new column. We're going to do this in uh, the desktop because we can't actually do this in tabular ID yet. So we're going to just call this home away. And here we're just going to go by our team. And we're going to find our theme name. There we go. And then we're going to have uh, match ID equals the match.
match ID of the Madeline's table. And then we're going to filter with our set. So let's go to filter. And we're going to go all now matches the table. And this time we're going to go matches uh, match ID. Again, we're going to use a if function, and I'm going to go and look for our home team from the matches table. I'm going to see if that equals 10. If it does, we're going to give a 1. If not, we'll give a 2. That's there. What we can do is we can add this to our axis. Now you might be thinking this is just completely thrown off what we had, and it does. But we can use some of our hierarchical buttons up the top here. So we're going to use this last one to expand all down one level. And there we go. So it's back to how we looked, but now we'll see here that we have Arsenal as 1 and West Ham as 2. That's our ordering happening for us using a hierarchy. It's pretty cool, right? Alright, so you can choose here as well if it's not working. You can adjust it there to make sure. So let's go and sort ascending as well. There we go. Cool. Alright, so like I said, I'd already added our other visuals as well, so let's just bring those up. But we have a few things we need to change, so let's add in those things now. So first let's add our hierarchy. Do that there. There we go, and we just need to make sure it's ordering correctly. Just add our color here as well. And we'll do that for the last one while we're here. Cool. And then the last thing was our home away. There we have it. Using a couple of measures and a calculated column, we can create some simple stats, but then also order and color based on the team and if they were home or away. What we can do is we can just try a couple of other matches where, for example, Arsenal might have been away. So let's look at this Manchester United match. And let's go back to our report page. There you go, so Arsenal's now in their away colour. Pretty cool, isn't it? Easy as that. Alright guys, so if you like this video, please hit like below. And subscribe to make sure you're notified of any future content. And we can go through uh, further. Next week we'll be building some more aspects to our match report. To help you power performance through data.